Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a three ways to wear video. Um, when I first started doing YouTube, which wasn't actually for my own channel, but it was for a vintage shop I used to work for, I did a lot of like trend reports and like different ways to wear certain pieces and stuff like that. And those are the kind of videos that I really enjoy, like planning and filming and also watching myself. So I thought it would be a good idea to start doing that on this channel. And so it's just going to be kind of an ongoing series. If there's anything in particular that you want me to style up, then do let me know in the comments below. Today's piece is a pair of vintage Levi's 501 jeans. Here they are. Oh, they're just like the best jeans that I've ever, ever bought in my whole life, which is such a big statement. But I find it so hard to find jeans like that fit me properly, especially around the waist. And I own a couple of other pairs of vintage Levi's that aren't the 501s and I'd kind of given up on finding the right pair for me because I've worked in vintage shops for the past few years so I've always been there when we get the deliveries in, I've always had first choice and I've never found ones that like fit my body shape or fit me properly around the waist or and just stuff like that and I just thought that they just weren't for me but then I found this pair and I was like oh they're just perfect so first of all the wash is so perfect, I keep saying perfect, but it is. I just love light wash denim jeans right now. It goes with so many different colours and patterns and it's good for like winter and like summer as well. Um, and I got a waist 29 um, and just for reference, like for, in high street jeans I get a waist 26, 27. So if you're new to shopping for vintage Levi's, do size up a bit from your normal high street size but I do find that waist 29 it works for me for like lots of different styles of Levi's like I've got another couple of pairs that are waist 29 as well and they're just perfect and I'll pop a cutaway in of how well these actually fit me around the waist like it's just I normally get like the problem where they just gap at the back and these are just great um, and then these are a leg 32 which is quite long for me I'm like five six five seven so I just like roll them up so you can either roll them up or cut them if they're a bit long so yeah as I said I've been searching for years for the perfect pair so don't feel disheartened if you haven't found them yet it does take such a long time and so much persistence um, I would recommend like looking in your local vintage shops like regularly and maybe just follow also following them on social media so you know when they get deliveries in that's always a good idea and yeah, do persevere because it's so worth it. Um, right, I'm gonna stop rambling about the actual jeans now. I'm gonna get into the outfits. The outfits are like um, appropriate for, hello. Cat wants attention. Um, yeah, the outfits are appropriate for like sort of autumn, winter going into spring. And then I think in a few months I'll do one for summer. So let's just get straight into it. So most of the items that you're going to see in this video are vintage um, because that's what I work with sort of every day and also like, it goes well with the style of jeans and she's really distracting me. <laughs> These videos aren't necessarily about showing you guys new pieces that you need to go out and buy to style with these jeans, it's just um, showing you like, a different way of styling the jeans and like my thought process. So outfit one is quite a minimal one. Um, I mean, when I think of Levi's 501s, I think of sort of people who dress in a quite minimal way. So this one is, um, yeah, quite a minimal look. So I'd start it off with like this um, really simple cream turtleneck, like thin knit. And I think, I think that the cream and the light wash go really, really well together. At this time of year, I tend not to wear much white, so like cream is a good option for a light colour. Um, so that seems quite simple on the surface, but then see what I'm going to add next. This amazing ooh, yellow wool coat. It's so gorgeous. I absolutely love this. And this is, I love the colour, it's just like quite 70s inspired and yeah, I think this look all together looks, it's quite like 60s, 70s inspired. Um, and I would just finish off the look with like a 60s style baker boy hat and my silver office ankle boots. 
Um, yeah, I really like this outfit. It's such an easy sort of like throw on and go, but thanks to the colour of um, this coat, it looks really, really good. Um, I did recently wear this outfit out when it was raining and I was getting really worried that I was getting like, gonna get like splashed from the rain on the pavement. Luckily I didn't, but maybe this is an outfit for dry days because this is, you don't wanna ruin this coat. <laughs> yeah, so that's outfit number one. So the second outfit is like a mix of grunge elements and tailoring. Um, so I will start off with yet another polar neck. I mean, it's just that time of year, isn't it, where you want to keep your neck nice and warm and they're just, you know, they're just really flattering, I find. But I love this one. It's like 60s um, dark green, white and beige striped turtleneck. And I love this color green at the moment. It's really, really lovely. But the key to this outfit is um, how the colors are working together and a print clash with this amazing tartan blazer. I mean, look how perfectly, it's so hard to show you, you're gonna see better in the cutaways. Look how perfectly that green and green go together. But then also the fact that it's a clashing stripe print with um, a tartan print, it looks really, I just really, really like it. And clashing prints at the moment is just like huge. So I think that works really well together. I absolutely love this blazer. Like I just love the fringe down the um, down the panels there. It's just gorgeous and it's got some um, sort of 80s inspired shoulder pads and I think it works well because the top half is quite tailored and then when you add the jeans in it makes it a bit more of a more relaxed look. And then finally I just finish off the look with a bit more tailoring with these amazing black velvet loafers and a fishnet sock to just add a bit more grunge into the outfit. Um, I really really like this look. I mean it's probably a bit too cold at the moment to wear it just like this so I would just add like a simple like trench coat or like black faux fur coat over the top but really excited to whack this one out come springtime. The final look is a really like relaxed look um, and it's based around this amazing Topshop leopard print sort of satin pyjama style top that I got in the January sales for just $10. I was so chuffed with that. It was down from $75 and I was like, whoa, that is like the bargain of the year. So I had to pick that up. I got it in a size 12. I don't think it's available anymore, so that's a real shame. But as with all of these products, I will link similar ones below if I can find them. And yeah, I like wearing this at the moment because it's quite cold still, layered over a black turtleneck, another turtleneck. <laughs> Um, and also it's great because you can either wear it just loose over the jeans with like the last few buttons like unbuttoned so you can see like the waistline of the jeans or I also think it looks great like tied up around the waist so that gives it like a very retro kind of 80s 90s look um, and yeah I really like this it's so casual it's an easy like throw on and go outfit I just finish it off with a pair of Converse if it's dry or my burgundy Doc Martin boots are really, really good with the like sort of blush pink brown color of this um, leopard print. I think that looks really good. And then just a black faux fur coat to not complicate things too much. So yeah, it's a great Sunday look. I'm a big fan of this look and I've been wearing it a lot recently. So those were the three outfits. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments below which was your favourite outfit and also let me know like how you style um, Levi's 501 jeans because I would love to get some inspiration from you guys. Um, also let me know if there's anything particularly you want me to style as I said and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!